Alright guys, so we're gonna be going to, I believe, I gotta go to the bank first, get some money. Looking into buying a new rod today. Uh, I just got a text message, probably from someone I know, but anyways, uh, I'm trying to get something nice, some high quality rod, so hopefully Dix or Tackle Box has what I'm looking for. All right, if you guys ever want to go to a tackle shop in Southern Maryland and you're particularly in that Lexington Park area, just go to Tackle Box. It's got a lot of good stuff in there. The prices are pretty decent and sometimes they have some good deals. So go check out Tackle Box. That's where we're going to go. And well, that's where we're at. That's where we're going to go into right now. I'm going to try to buy myself a new rod. Got an X wrap that's already out of the packaging because of what you want to tear it open. Got a skitter walk and the speckled trout color, Rapala, favorite top waters. Got this bomber badonka donk and a nice little fire tiger BS. I don't even know. Um, some hurricane. I got the laughing bucktails, the laughing heads, because they had those at Walmart for cheap, so why not? And then I bought some uh, busting baits. These uh, are kind of like big here in Maryland. I don't know. I keep seeing them on like social media and crap. And uh, I bought like the lime truce five and a half, five and a quarter inch fluke tails. They have like it's pretty much like a fluke, but it's got a uh, little joint right here so it's got a real erratic motion a lot of the guys like rigging them upside down here's Theo's tackle grade right now my, my terrible least organized tackle you get yourself I, I can see how it's going though you see you got your uh, popper with your crankbait with my square bill and then don't forget the liplesses you got to put the square bills with the liplesses yeah you, you can see I have my top waters along with my uh, lipless slash baits or jerk baits my mirror lures and that doesn't fit in there. And you have a Pointer 100 just chilling over here yeah, on the left. Yeah, I got a Pointer uh, 100. There's two SP minnows in there. These Savage gear. I don't know what the hell those are. An X wrap. There's another X wrap in here somewhere, I think. But yeah, it's uh, my garbage tackle box that I don't take care of. All right, guys. It's now. really hot in here right now. Yeah, I'm getting hot as fuck, and I'm not in a hoodie. You're full well, of goddamn bloodworms. He's having some issues right now. I'm not having any issues. I'm having a good day so far. Uh, <laughs> so what we're gonna do now? At least what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, rig up my rod, I'm going to head out there and try to get some topwater striper, or at least something on a bucktail or something. By now, at 12.43 in the afternoon. It'll probably work, believe it or not. Heavy cloud cover, maybe a little bit of light rain coming in. Might be some good fishing conditions right now, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that and catch some fish. So don't we'll buy see you fish guys. bites. Or if you buy fish bites, don't let them sit in your tackle box. For literally, these probably have been... A All right, guys, this is the new rod I just picked up from the Tackle Box, our local tackle shop here in Southern Maryland. Tackle Box MD, check them out. So Theo's lost his spook twice today. He's lost his spook twice. He literally cannot keep that spook on his line. First of all, he doesn't tie a palmer knot, so that's probably why. And then after that, he ended up losing the bait a second time. Is that somewhere else? Yes! Get the net. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. You want to click it? Is it on? My GoPro's on. Hell. Oh, that's a nice bass, dude. Oh, no, no. Go this way, this way, this way. This. <laughs> yes! Yes! Woo! Oh, baby, yes! I don't know, mono is just so much easier. Honestly, dude, especially because you have a fast action rod like that, you would be way better off with mono, especially trying to work a spook. Because that stretch would help you. 
Oh no. Are you serious? How many fucking times am I gonna do this? Jesus Christ. I just need to give you a whole spool of 15 pound mono. Are you gonna go with 10? I would just go with 15 pound. Or swim in it, paddle in it. I mean, if this were, if our objective was to make it as hard as possible to catch fish on top water today, we are doing a fantastic job. Three and a half. Four and a half. Fucking third time. <laughs> like a 25 inch bass, dude. I don't know about 25. It was at least 20, dude. That was a nice fish. I was watching him boil under it. I hooked. No, 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 no. He's pulling drag. I just want to keep. All right, guys, got a nice stripe. I want to do yourself a favor and step down. Because if you're at a higher angle, the fish is easier to pop off. Yeah, no, it's okay. Oh, no, he's not fat hooked, is he? Oh, my God. I am trying. Watch the motor. No, he's nice. Foul hooked. Come up here. Let's keep it, though. It's still deeper. So it was probably 21 on the dot, or 22 on the dot. Damn. Dude, we got two beautiful fish. No, they're literally blowing up on this thing so many times. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's tiny though. Micro, dude. Trout, bass, trout, bass. Okay, so I couldn't get that like 18 to 20 incher, but I could get the one that's like five inches. It's I literally. A, I have a feeling that 18 to 20 inches is actually that fish right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right, bro. All right, just got my second rockfish over here. Oh my god, it came right after that. We got a school of them. Hey, can you anchor down? Huh? Anchor down. I'm just, I'm more afraid of us moving too close. Because we're already in five feet of water. To the, on the dot. Thank you. Alright guys. Wow, we're on a nice school. Why did we just, why did we leave? It's amazing what happens when you go from using a top water to this. Look at this school of striper, bro. Oh, got one! Oh, I got off. Damn it. Damn, he smoked the shit out of that. Oh, oh, they're right there. They're all over here. Look at this. Imagine living on this place? Oh my god, you could catch from the shore. Look at them all blitzing over there, dude. All right, he's got a nice fish. He's got a nice one. Watch, 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 just watch, just watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, let's get it. Oh. Let's get that tail for it. No. Your dad just texted you all. All right, guys, we're on a school of blitzing white perch. Probably not the most, uh, you probably wouldn't expect this, but yeah, it's going down right now. Fish going down over there. Yep. Shit's going down everywhere. of the pier right there. Shallow. See they're moving this way. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, they're blitzing up in front. Yeah, over to the right. Yeah. 
They're blitzing everywhere. Alright guys, gonna head in. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I caught the keeper rockfish. This guy tried. Quarter inch short. Not only was he a quarter inch short, guys, um, he lost his spook three times. Forced himself to get it back three times. Did it all three times. Just so we could lose a nice rockfish with that spook. Alright guys, I'll see you next time on the water. Mm -hmm.